saw from that peak there. I think there's a fence blocking me out of there. Beautiful, like the scenery is amazing. But it's just so damn windy. Like, what do you do? I'm trying to bike with this bike that's not very good. And the wind is howling. I don't think it's proper weather to fly a drone right now. I think I'd lose it. Of right now, I'm carrying with me, I got the Zayun Crane 2, which is one of the bigger gimbals. I have my drone, I've got batteries, I've got my camera, I've got four lenses. I pretty much have everything you need to go on a epic shoot. Awesome. I'm gonna fly the drone. Wind or no wind. Let's do it. Let's send it up. This is important. I'm waiting a lot of time for this. We got the Manfrotto Bumblebee 230, and it's the best backpack for the Zion Crane 2. So I'm gonna get right to it. Zion Crane 2. There it is, right here. Okay. It just fits perfectly inside this backpack. So there it is. And you fit it right into the side there. And it fits perfectly. I also have my drone in here. I got the Mavic Pro controller. I got Mavic Pro batteries. I have all my lenses. A 24-70 f2.8 L-series Canon lens. Got your classic Canon Nifty 50. Very important to have like this lens a lot. I don't use it as much as I should, but definitely glad I have it. Canon 100 millimeter macro, f2.8, L series. Love this lens, awesome lens to have. And then I got my wide angle 10 to 18 Canon lens. Pretty good lens, sharpness is a little bit meh. You notice it when you're doing video. Pictures, takes awesome pictures. And I got the Zion Crane foot mount. And then I put my DSLR right in the front. And I still have like room to spare. Like I could fit another couple lenses. So this backpack is definitely under furnished. Like I could fit more product in here. You got your side pockets. You got the tripod holder. If you want to put a large tripod on it. You got this pocket, whatever you want to put batteries. I like to put all my hard drives in the side there in between these two compartments so I got my external hard drives but look at the space like look at this like it's just so neat and I got the crane too and there's so much padding on the side there that it's not gonna get damaged like you I was really rough with this backpack and like everything's really intact so you don't have to worry about your gear it is an expensive backpack. I paid $3.99 Canadian. I don't know what that is in American. I'm not gonna do the currency conversion right now. So it is an expensive backpack, but I don't like to compromise with the quality of the gear I use. So $3.99, I kind of justified it. It is responsible for keeping care of all your really expensive gear. Like, I mean, if you're gonna buy L-series lenses, you're not gonna really wanna put it into a cheap backpack so that it can be damaged. Or even the Mavic Pro. I mean, this equipment, as you guys know, it's not cheap, so it's really important for me to keep it in something that I know it's secure. I mean, even the Zion Crane too, like, again, it's not a cheap product. So, I mean, if you're gonna buy quality gear, you might as well store it in a quality backpack. So, for me, highly recommend the Manfrotto 
Bumblebee Pro Light Series backpack. Um, I think you can find it on the Manfrotto webpage. But also in the back portion, you have an area for your laptop. Now, I only have the MacBook Air, but it is roomy back here. I think I could fit like my entire PC back here. You got a side compartment here if you want to put your like water bottle or your, I, I was keeping my uh, laptop charger in there so you can put that in there. Go. Big pocket in the front, you can put batteries. It's pretty deep in there. I don't know what you can put in there. I was putting like chargers and stuff. Put all your batteries, memory cards in the top pocket up there. It is the Prolite Manfrotto Bumblebee 230. Awesome backpack, especially if you have the Zion Crane 2, because it fits. That is a really big selling feature of this backpack. The reason why I bought this backpack was because it can hold my drone, my camera, my lenses, and the Zion Crane 2. Very big selling feature. And you know what else I like? Right on the top, boom, your camera sits right here. And that is very important. So if you don't want all your gear to fall out, you just wanna grab your, your camera, boom, it's right there at the top. Like another really important feature about this backpack is how comfortable it is. I really like, when, when, I, when I heard a couple reviews about this backpack saying how comfortable it was, I was like, whatever. It's like, I've never really tried on an uncoverable backpack until I put this thing on. And this backpack really sets the standard. Um, I was like hiking up like some crazy rock mountain. It was slippery and I was carrying all my gear. I was bike riding. Just felt like it was part of me, you know? It was like, I feel like I'm going on and on about it, but really I'm not exaggerating. It was really comfortable. Um, another handle right there for like, you can hook like your tripod or, I'm kind of not into doing stuff like that. You could hook like a Joby there. You've got this front pocket, this pocket right there. Yeah, put a lens in there. I was carrying like my passport and like my wallet and stuff in here. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and see you later.